Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I have to start this morning with a scripture reading from Mark chapter 10, verses 1 through 16. He left that place and went to the region of Judea and beyond the Jordan, and crowds again gathered around him. And as was his custom, he again taught them. Some Pharisees came in to test him. They asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her. But Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote this commandment for you. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Then in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them. And a disciple spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. Please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. Thank you for your goodness and for your blessings over us. Thank you for allowing us to have the opportunity to be in your presence again today, Lord. We especially express our gratitude for the guidance that you provide through those that are constantly fighting this epidemic and the tiresome battle that is set forth on our society in so many ways. Be with those that are on the front lines in all forms and ways today and guide all your children home safely tonight, including those that are always putting themselves in harm's way to protect others. Remind us that we are here to serve you, Lord, in all that we do, and that your justice and mercy should be reflected in all actions that we carry out each and every day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a good day today.